Today, we're gonna to be talking through the easiest way to create conversion reports in Salesforce. I'm gonna go through two examples today. One, the very common win percentage on opportunities, and the second is gonna be showing you how to use a row level formula on any field on any object to be able to show different ratios or conversions. So let's get into it. So we're gonna go ahead and start by creating a report. Uh, and in the example today, we're gonna go ahead and create an opportunity report here. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab an opportunity report. And here in my development org, I have a few test opportunities. Uh, and that's fine just to show the current quarter, uh, just to show some easy uh, calculations. So what I wanna do here is create two different conversions. The first one that I wanna do, I can do out of the box here. And I wanna show of these opportunities, which ones are close one. But I wanna make sure that I have a grouping set. So in this case, we're gonna use uh, the account name as a grouping. Usually you wanna use opportunity owner, but because I'm the only owner here, it won't show very uh, good, good statistics here. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna know how many of these opportunities are one per account. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create out of the box a summary formula. And this summary formula, the equation I'm looking at is how many are one opposed to all of the records on this report. So I'm gonna call this my win ratio. I'll set this as a percentage and decimals are fine. So again, I'm gonna show all closed one versus all opportunities. So the record count is gonna show all opportunities, but I only want those that are currently one, which an opportunity that is out of the box, uh, something that I can grab. So the one sum divided by the total sum. Oh, missed this. And by doing this, we're gonna now be able to see all of those that are one versus all of the records. So here, if I were to scroll over, I'm gonna see here the, the, the formula here. So the top, I have a 50%, second account, 50%, I have a zero, and then 100%. And that checks out here, the ratios here. So again, that was a very easy to do out of the box on any close one or even close lost formulas using just that summary formula. Now what I'd like to do is show something that you're able to customize across all objects, not just opportunities, to show the different ratios of data. And what I wanna do is I wanna see one of these fields, uh, we'll use lead source. I wanna know how many of the opportunities on this report came from a partner. And so this could be used across all different objects, but this is just my example. So what I'm gonna wanna do here is create a row level formula that points out how many of these records have partners lead source. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that first. I'm gonna hit this row level formula. This I'm gonna call the uh, partner ratio. And I want to have it as a number. That's what I want my output to be. So in this case, I just wanna know how many of these lead sources are partner. So I'm gonna do an if statement on the lead store, lead source. So if the lead source, and because this is a uh, pick list val, I'm gonna have to do an is pick val formula. If lead source is partner, then I want to have an output of a one, and if it's not, I want an output of a zero. So this is that formula showing, okay, of these records, how many are partner and how many are not. This is valid, and so now as I put this in place, this is gonna set up that formula down the road. So this is the partner, uh, the partner uh, ratio, and it's showing ones or zeros. Now what I wanna show here, uh, and I'm gonna rename this actually, this is just going to be the uh, partner source. And so this is just saying, hey, of these records, these ones are partners. So you have one here and one here. Now I wanna see a ratio on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create another summary formula. Now, what's really unique here is that this report has stored that formula that I just put in place. So I have this as a partner ratio. I'm gonna put this as again, as a percent. And what I wanna do here is take only the records that are showing partner source here. 
And how Salesforce does this is it stores it as that row level formula that you see right here. Row level formula, here's that partner source. So I wanna insert that to only show those that have that. And I'm gonna divide that again by all records. So the record count. And so here we have only those that are showing a one output divided by all. And so here you have the partner ratio on that far column. You're showing it's only taking those that have the partner and it's getting that ratio. So I have a 50% on the Gene Point account. I have a 50% on the United Oil and Gas Corp. And so that is a very easy way and not a com to, to not have any complex formulas on these reports. And you can use this for uh, text fields. You can have this on the pick list that you just saw. You can do a range of, of numbers as well as dates. And this is how you'll be able to use this across all objects, across all reports to show different conversion metrics. Let me know if you have any other questions or you want to see this in any other form on another object. Thanks.